Where is Pete and Bobby? Aren't they coming to play today? Let us wait for some time. Then we will start our game. Hey, look, Bobby is coming. Bobby, why are you late? And where is Pete? Pete has met with an accident and has hurt himself. What? How did this happen? I don't know, but he is at home in bed. Come, let us all go and see him. Hey, let us all call Maya. Pete will be happy to see her. Yes. Maya, please come. We need you. Maya, please come. We need you. Hello kids, what's up? Pete has met with an accident and we are all going to see him. We wanted you also to come with us. Of course I will come. But how did the accident happen? We don't know. Come on then, let's go and find out. Hello Maya. How are you feeling now, Pete? Better. How did this happen? Uh mm, uh, uh Come on, Pete. Tell us how did this happen? Actually, uh, uh I was trying to fly. Fly? How? Actually, I saw the film Krish and asked my parents to buy me a mask just like him. After wearing the mask, I too felt powerful like Krish and jumped from my bed to fly. But, but I, I couldn't fly and, and fell on the floor and hurt myself. Oh, poor Pete. Hmm, so you were blindly trying to copy Krish. Yes. Pete, do you know? You behave just like the barber who also tried to copy a merchant without understanding whether it will work for him or not and got himself into trouble. You mean to say copying anybody blindly can lead us into trouble? Yes. See what happened to Pete when he tried to copy a superhero? Maya, please tell us more about the barber and how he got himself into trouble. Okay. Let me tell you the story of a merchant called Mani Bhadra and a barber who lived in a prosperous city in the heart of India. Mani Bhadra was not only a rich man but also virtuous and generous. Welcome my dear friends. Welcome to my house. Here, please taste these sweets. I've got it made specially for my dear friends. Hmm, it really is very tasty. Mani Bhadra, you are really very generous. Nobody is like you in this whole city. Praise the Lord, who has given me so much that I am able to share it with you all. And so, life was a bed of roses for Mani Bhadra. And then, Mani Bhadra made a bad investment and lost all his fortunes in it. He even had to sell his personal belongings to pay the loan. His house, that was once filled with expensive things, became empty. Oh, here comes Mani Bhadra. He has lost all his money. Hey, come on, come on. Let us change our lane before he stops us and asks us for money. Yesterday who were my friends are now turning away from me. Today I am all alone in this city. I had helped everybody so much. But today nobody comes to visit me. But I should not blame them. Why will anyone come to me now? What do I have to offer them? Today I don't have enough money to survive. In this world, only money rules. I cannot live without money. I should end my life. Yes, from tomorrow, I will not have anything to eat. 
money back. You're a good man. The world needs a good man like you. You have to live for the welfare of this world. Look at me carefully. I will come to visit you tomorrow morning in the same form as you see me now. Touch me on my head here with a stick and immediately I will turn into gold. The gold will be so much that you will never have to work again. Using the money you can be like you were before you lost all your wealth. Was my mind playing games on me? Or did that saint really come in my dream? It is way past sunrise. And you are still on bed? Come on, get up. Shall I tell my dear wife about my dream? No. No, she will think I have gone mad. Maybe I dreamt about it just because I keep thinking about money all the time. Now, what are you thinking? Uh, nothing. Nothing at all. How can it be? Can it be the same saint from my dream? I'll open it. Good morning, madam. Is the master ready for his shave? Yes, yes. Uh, please come in. Who could that be? Uh, just wait for some time. Let me see who it is. I can't believe it. It is the same saint who came in my dream. Is this again a dream? Or he has come to visit me in real? Good morning, O noble Manipatra. Uh, no, it's not a dream. He is talking to me. Oh, learned saint, please come in. I am really happy to see you in person. First part of my dream has come true. Let me see if the rest of my dream also comes true. If it does, then I will really be rich. <laughs> I can't believe it. Huh? How did it happen? My lord, we are rich again. Now I can live like before and help others. Thank you, O saint. You have been generous to me. My dear barber, you should also have some share of our fortune. Oh, sir, you are really very generous. But dear barber, I pray to you not to speak about what you saw here. No, sir. Rest assured. I will never open my mouth in front of anybody. Once again, I am thankful to you, sir. You have changed my life. Praise the Lord who has once again given me my lost wealth. From today, I will not have to work again. I have learned the secret of getting rich. These saints turn to gold when you hit them on their head with a stick. <laughs> I will try this tomorrow itself. So the very next morning, the greedy barber cuts a strong stick from a tree and tests it for use. Yes, this stick is perfect for me to use. Now I shall go and invite a saint to my house. Shall I invite one monk or two? The more monks come to my house, the more gold I will have. Yeah! <laughs> I think I will invite as many as possible. Yes, I should collect as many gold as possible before anybody else comes to know about the secret. Oh holy saints, I want to donate to the monastery whatever little I have been able to afford. Maybe you can use my donations for the pious work you are doing. We sure could, oh noble sir. Then oh holy saints, I request you all to accompany me to my house at this very instant so that I can donate it to you. 
Also, you all can have lunch at my house. Thank you once again, O noble sir. We all accept your invitation. Lead the way, sir. One, two, three, four, five, six, six monks. <laughs> Oh my god! I will be the richest man in this whole city! Oh noble sir, what are you thinking? Ah? Uh -huh. Nothing! Oh holy ones, I'll be glad to serve all the six of you holy saints. Do follow me. This is my little house, oh holy ones. Do come in. Oh noble sir, where do we sit for the lunch? Oh holy saints, just keep standing while I turn you all into gold. Saying this, the barber started hitting the monks on the head with a strong stick. As he had seen Manibhadra do. But no monk turned into gold coins. Instead, they all started screaming in pain and shock. God save us! God help us! Help! 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 This fellow has gone mad. What's the matter? Why are you both screaming? A madman is on the loose. He invited us for lunch and then started beating us with a strong stick once we were inside his house. There are more monks in his house. Please help us or he will kill them. Come on, let's go. Inside the house, the Baba was still beating the poor monks with his stick as they cried in pain. But to the shock of the Baba, not even one of the monks converted into gold coins. The Baba started hitting the monks even more hard. Ah, help! Ah, help! Ah, help! Ah, help! He will kill us all! I say turn into gold! Why are you not turning into gold? Why are you all not turning into gold? Why are you all wasting my energy? Hey you! Stop beating those poor monks! You rascal! How did you hurt these monks? Come on! The judge will take good care of you for beating innocent people! And so, the city guards dragged the barber and brought him in front of the judge. And when the judge asked him why he was beating the innocent monks like this, the barber told everything he had seen at the house of Manibhadra. After hearing the whole story, the judge asked the guards to get Manibhadra. Get Manibhadra here immediately. Oh sir, why have I been brought here? Manibhadra? This barber says that he saw you hitting a monk with a stick and he converted into gold coins. Is that true? Oh sir, it might have appeared to this man that I had hit the monk, but it was not so. Then what was it? Because this man copied you and has injured several monks by hitting them with stick. My dear sir, this man copied me blindly without knowing the whole story. And Manibhadra told the entire story, starting from the dream he had to the moment when the monk turned into gold in front of their eyes. Everybody present there listened in surprise. The Baba was also shocked to hear the real story. He started trembling in fear. Now I have realized why my monks did not turn into gold when I hit them. You are a greedy fool. And your greed of money made you to hurt innocent people of our city. You shall not be spared. I order the guards to send you to prison for six months. And let this be a lesson to everybody. Blindly copying anybody is very dangerous and can cause harm to others as well as yourself. So you see children, the barber learned his lesson the hard way. Just like me. We too have learned the lesson. Yes. yes. That's good. 
and children remember films of fantasy are for us to enjoy and not to copy the actions of the heroes of those films so next time you watch a fantasy film don't learn what action the hero does but learn how to enjoy the movie it will refresh your mind and body we will all remember this good so pete you take good rest and get well soon see you all again soon see you maya i think we all should also leave and let pete take rest yes let's go thank you all for coming bye pete bye bye all of you